Time for sports on commu Missoula Community Access Television. I'm Cole Johnson. And I'm Captain Cross. The Missoula Sentinel Spartans lose in their first round playoff game in the quarterfinals to Kalispell Glacier by the score of 35 to 14. Drew Turner, 256 yards rushing in that game, took control. Kalispell Glacier had a 21-0 lead and ended up winning 35 to 14. Kempson, your thoughts on the quarterfinal loss by the Spartans? Well, I think we saw even earlier in the year that Missoula Sentinel didn't have the size of some other teams in double A, and I think that kind of caught up with them on Friday night. Even though it seemed like it, it was a trend where all the winning teams, it seemed like, had 250 to 300 yards rushing, I think that part of the reason that Drew Turner was able to go off for a school record 256 yards for the Glacier High Wolfpack was because of a little bit of a lack of size. And also, just they dominated time of possession, did the Wolfpack. The, out of the 48 minutes of game clock, Sentinel had it for about 15 minutes of that. And so that's over half an hour of game clock that, that Glacier was just able to control the football. And so 35 to 14, 21 nothing, almost at halftime. Then Brandon Morley threw the first of his two touchdowns to Nick Germer, and they hooked up again in the second half for the 14 Sentinel points. Sentinel took some good steps forward as a program this year. They were arguably more successful on the road than they were at home, and so they can work on their home home team, or they can work on, on being successful at home a little bit, and if they take care of business at home a little better next year, heck, maybe they can, maybe they can take that next step and even host a playoff game. It, it could happen. Um, if they're able to transition smoothly, I know that they, they're gonna have some skill position transition to take place, especially at the quarterback running back position. But those seniors did a great job getting into the playoffs this year. Dane Oliver and his staff did a good job as well. And uh, they clinched a playoff spot before the regular season was even over. And so that's a good step for them as well. Uh, so Sentinel, uh, beaten by Glacier after that all-time great shootout that we were, had the privilege to call um, at, in Washington Grizzly Stadium. That was a lot of fun. Um, less fun result this time, but Sentinel had a good year, and Glacier's year continues. Yeah, when you can run the football, um, you can definitely control the game, and that's what Glacier did. And even looking at the Big Sky game for Missoula Sentinel this past season, um, that's what Big Sky was able to do with Janet Carroll and Lighty, just keep running the football and took control of the game. And as you mentioned, when you can own the clock, things are looking good for you, and that's why Glacier was able to win that game. Let's look at some of the other quarterfinal matchups. Billing Sr., 51 points on Missoula Big Sky. It was the second time they blew him out. They beat him by 42 points the first time. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts on that game? Well, 51 to 15, he flipped the score around a little bit there. Uh, Missoula Big Sky, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Big Sky, Jana Caro had two rushing touchdowns. He's, like we, like we said a couple times on this program, He's one of those guys that is a potential all-state running back at the quarterback position, and he can throw a little bit too, but Billing Senior is just a tough, tough football team, and there's no shame in, in for Big Sky in just going in there, and they just got athletes all over the place, do the Bronx, and Big Sky again. Janet Caro had a couple touchdowns, and they were able to rebound from a 2 and eight year last year where they dealt with a lot of injuries, and... Um, <clears throat> Sorry, return to being the Missoula City champions and return to the playoffs, which is good, which is good for them. Both both wins for them. Um, and Billing Senior has yet to lose still here in this season since <clears throat> since losing the state championship game almost a year ago. 420 yards rushing as a team, and uh, Nate Askelson had 110 of those and three touchdowns. Nate Dick had over 200 uh, 265 yards and three four total touchdowns and so that gives you a, a little bit of an idea of just the all the weapons they have and they have athletes <clears throat> along each like in the trenches as well Billing senior no one's been able to hang with them for all 48 minutes and um yeah the bronx uh, can uh, started their championship run in the postseason with a, a strong victory yeah the train just keeps on moving for the bronx you know um compiling win after win after win they have great athletes they have great size and that's the reason why they're putting up some big time points and winning very handedly so they move on to the semifinals. Helena Capital 23 to 13 over billings west at a 23 nothing lead in the first half they went 23 13 this team started one and four, Helena Capital, and now they are on some kind of roll right now. What did you see in this game, and how were they able to pull the upset off? <laughs> uh, Helena Capital scored all 23 of their points 
uh, three touchdowns and an intentional grounding penalty that resulted in a safety in about eight and a half minutes in the first half. So that's a little overwhelming to go down 23 nothing pretty much all of a sudden for Billington West, especially on your home field and in, in, a po in the postseason. Carter Pappas had three touchdowns pat, uh, throwing the ball for, for uh, Helena Capital, and then Peyton Pappas had 126 yards rushing. And it, yeah, Helena Capital, that stingy defense, was able to hang on as Billings West came out uh, into the second half strong. Cy Ryan had a pick six for, for that team. And this was a 14 to seven ball game in the opener where Billings West was able to grind out a victory. And you thought maybe the Golden Bears were coming out and they might make a comeback on their home field, but it, it was not to be. The, the Helena Capital defense, again, was just too much for, uh, for Billings West. And West, uh, two upsets in a row, and they are bounced out of the postseason. So a disappointing way to end a, a year where they were dominant at times. Billings West was one of the, one of the best teams in AA for much of the year. Helena Capital is probably the hottest team in the state, though, right now. Yeah, Billings West beat Sentinel 28 to nothing three weeks ago. Last two weeks, they have not looked good. And like you said, they got bounced from the playoffs. So disappointing into their year for sure. Helena building some momentum, 28 to 21 over Bozeman. Another upset win for them. They move on to the semifinals to play Glacier. What did you see, Helena at Bozeman? Well, Ryan Arnston is now the leading, all-time leading rusher for Helena High School, and that was partially because of 37 rushes, 246 yards on Friday night, with a touchdown mixed in there. And he has, he has, he's really what makes the Helena offense go. If they're able to get the run game going and they're able to balance it out with Caleb Winterburn, who got a couple touchdowns as well. Um, both rushing in through the air. He had two, ru <coughs> two sorry, <coughs> two passing and one rushing. And um, yeah, Helena was able to take advantage of some turnovers by Bozeman on, on Friday night. And the last time they won in the first round, this is only the second time in five years that they've won. And the last time they won was against Bozeman in 2014. Uh, three, three turnovers though, a fumble recovery for, for Helena and two interceptions. That led to 21 Bengals points, and that makes a huge difference, especially in a playoff game. Callahan O'Reilly still had 357 yards and three total touchdowns, but it was just too much for, to overcome. Those three turnovers were too much to overcome for Bozeman on their home field. They still had a great year. They, coming off the state championship, they still went to eight and two in kind of a transition year. So that tells you a little something about the Hawks. They're not going anywhere. But congratulations to Helena. They proved me wrong. They went into Bozeman, and uh, they are moving on. Helena 28-21 over Bozeman. Helena will play Kalispell Glacier. Billings Senior will host Helena Capital. Next week, we're going to have Dane Oliver on the show. I promise you, we're going to get him. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, to preview the state championship game of the AA playoffs. Uh, thank you for watching Wake Up Missoula. This has been Wake Up Sports on Missoula Community Access Television. I am Cole Johnson. And I'm Kempson Cross. Have a terrific week. Mm.